Hi everyone, my name is Simon Mishevich from Optimize Accountants and in this video I'm going to be talking about the rip-off tax. The rip-off tax being inheritance tax, which basically you pay tax all your life and then HMRC come along and come to your funeral and ask for 40% of your assets. A total rip-off that needs total annihilation. Um, that's just my view. What do you think? Comments box, please. All right, so here I just want to just bring to your attention that if you're looking for free online tax calculators, we have one for inheritance tax. Feel free to go to our website and get that information. You can use the QR code to access that quite quickly or there's a link in the description box below. So, of course, we're talking about inheritance tax. And what's said about that? Well, HMRC have said inheritance tax is a tax on the estate, the property, money and possessions of someone who's died. The rip-off tax. There's normally no inheritance ta tax to pay if either the value of the estate is below 325,000 or you leave everything above 325,000 to your spouse, civil partner or charity. So th this really means that if you have gifts that you're giving outside of your marital partner, okay, so this is the only thing that we're concerned with. Any transfers between husband and wife when you die it is not going to be taxed. But there are some advantages of gifting some assets whilst you have died because of inheritance tax, making sure that assets go to the right person, etc. But that's for another day. I really want to talk about IHT. Now, IHT has to be paid within six months of death. So you go through an estate planner, they will calculate all your assets, and then you, they will tell you the inheritance tax liability. But let's break this down. First of all, you both have, if you're husband and wife, you have to be married. It's not just a boyfriend, girlfriend. It has to be civil partnership, husband and wife. And in this regard, you'll have 325,000 pounds each. That's not, uh, that's provided you've not made any gifts prior. Again, quite complex, so do get some advice on this, but I'm giving you some top level stuff here. Um, you also can benefit potentially from this residential nail rate band, which basically means that if you have a house that's greater value than 325,000, you might benefit from this 175,000. There are caveats, there are restrictions. Again, this is just really awareness for you to be uh, taking forward with your tax accountant and your estate planner. Um, so in a shot, you could have 500,000 pounds, which is totally exempt for one person. If you're married, of course, then you have a million. So it is better than just having one person. Not always a good reason to get married, but I do know people who have done that. Um, the excess is charged at 40% and then you pay that within six months. Not everyone has the money to be able to do that. You know, if you don't have enough money in the bank accounts of the parents that are deceased or you don't have money yourself, what do you do? Well, you can pay inheritance tax on certain assets over 10 years, but you need to report it on form IHT 400, which your solicitor will do for you. All right, so the first thing you need to look at is property. If you've got any type of property, it's a big value asset, so they will allow you to take the portion of inheritance tax that's relevant to that property and pay over 10 years. The same applies for stocks and shares. The same applies for business activities. So if you're a sole trader, you have limited companies, that will all be covered in those two points, two and three. Agricultural business, or we've got land that's agricultural use, that's also payable over 10 years. But you have to be really careful. Now, interest rates have gone really skyrocketing high. HMRC are no different. They now charge 7.75% on any money that you owe them. The fact that you're paying inheritance tax over 10 years means you owe them that money for the nine tenths of the money that you owe them, you will now be charged 7.75% interest. That's one heck of a way for HMRC now to make money, more money out of you. The ripoff tax with interest. So, Pay over 10 years, pay 7.75%. The one thing I would say, say to you is, well, what if you don't have the money? Or what if you can get the money? Now, if you're thinking about, well, I have to pay this inheritance tax, they're gonna charge me 7.75%. 
you need to think about, well, if you don't have that money, can you raise a loan that's less than 7.75%? Now, you might want to refinance a property, which again, could be less than 7.75%. But if you get a loan that's 10%, why would you do that? Why would you pay more to the bank than the interest that HMRC would charge you? So again, you need to think about this. Second point is, um, if you, instead of paying back HMRC at 7.75%, could you say, well, actually, I'm, I'm going to keep the money that I have from the estate, the bank accounts. I'm not going to pay in, uh, HMRC directly. I'm happy to pay the 7.75%. But I know for well, I can make investments. And if I can make investments of 10, 12, 15%, well, that's better for me because I can pay you 7.75% and keep the rest. So can you make better investments outside of paying out HMRC early? Third thing is, will interest rates come down? The fact that we talk about 7.75%, will interest rates come down? Invariably, I think so. But you need to think about this because interest rates could also go up, not just down. So there's a lot of factors that you need to think about about paying HMRC over a period of 10 years for certain assets. Do take some time, get some tax advice, and make sure whatever you do make sure you make the right decision and don't regret it later.